Alright, hey guys, welcome to another one of my Minecraft videos. This is RetroGamer420, and this is one of my videos in a series of redstone tutorials I've been making. And this is a suffocation trap, and it should be able to get monsters, and but it's designed for players. So the way this works is somebody will go down your hallway, or wherever you put, place it, and they'll walk through and they get trapped in there. To reset it, you reset it like that. So it doesn't automatically reset itself, but there's actually a funny thing about this trap. So, so say if it, it goes through, um, and it kills a player. So it kills a player, and you think, well, you know, it's not gonna get another player, but it has a good chance of getting another player because, you know, it, it'll look like a door to them. So, like, press to enter, so they'll see that, and they'll be like, oh, cool. And then they'll go through, and then they'll die, too. So not only did the next player reset the trap, but he also, um, you know, got got taken out by the trap, too. So it's kind of funny. To get somebody with this trap, though, uh, it takes a bit for the suffocation to actually kill a person. So they might be able to TP out or something. That's the downfall. The, the upside of it, you can get their items. If uh, you can get to their items before they uh, despawn. So you can get free items off of this trap. So that's a good plus to it. So, to show you guys how it works here, I'll just kind of break this down a little bit. So it all starts off like right here, pressure plate. And it goes into a memory cell. And then the memory cell, once it's turned on, goes to the pistons. So, I mean, fairly easy to make. You could replicate it, pause the video, and replicate that if you want. I got some other examples of how this trap would work. So to reset it, yeah, you just hit this button right there. It goes to the back of that memory cell. So, just to show you, let's see, it turns on, and it'll stay closed, and then reset it, you just come over there, and you can place it wherever you want, however you want to do it. So here's like another example, I kind of retrofitted my uh, other uh, pitfall design, and I just put in a trap here. So let's just say somebody was coming down here, well here's the pressure plate, so you might not see it because it's kind of hidden, they might be going down fast. And then, it takes a while for them to die, but it might get them. And if it does get them, you'll get their items. Now, let's say it didn't get them, whatever. And uh, the next guy comes through, and you had a sign here that says, you know, press, press to open up mine. Open up the mine. They press it, and they're like, oh, cool. You know, and they want to go down and see what's down there now. And then they'll start getting it too, so it's kind of comical in that sense. So yeah, that's uh, the design. I can show you how I wired this one up if you guys want. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, here, maybe this would be a better spot to show you. Oh. Let's take a look. Where was it? Right here. So it's doing the same thing, comes in, goes to the memory cell, and it just kind of goes up. This time it just steps down. So it's the exact same design, it's just positioned a little bit differently. And when you step on it, it does the same thing, and the memory cell goes to the back, and I just ran it all the way up to the switch up here. Which resets it. So yeah. So it's pretty funny if you can actually get somebody with this trap. Because chances are they'll either reset it for themselves and then get killed and then when they die they'll be like, oh my god, I actually reset the trap. And it got killed me. So yeah, it's pretty good. Here it is though, one last time for you guys. 
Alright guys, that sums up this video. If you like this redstone tutorial, check out my other videos. Alright, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace out.